Alright guys, today I've got another video here. This is going to be on my Samsung Galaxy S5 and today I'm going to show you how to install a custom ROM on this device. This is the Verizon variant. Uh, this is going to work also with AT&T. It's going to be the same principles, different files, but same principles on how to install a custom ROM with SafeStrap Recovery. Alright, so the ROM I'm going to be installing today is basically stock, but it has a, funch, a bunch of cool features in it, and I'll go over that as I go through it. But first, let's go ahead and check out some prerequisites. So you can see I've already got this thing kind of set up. Um, I already have root access with um, SuperSU. Actually, I use Towel Root app to get root, and it installs uh, SU, and then you install SuperSU application. I have a video on that process of getting root access on your device. Definitely check that out if, if you're going to do this. You have to get root access first. The next thing you need to do is install SafeStrap and get it set up. Um, this is SafeStrap Recovery. And also have a video on that. So definitely if you haven't made this prerequisite, go ahead and check that video out. That's going to explain a lot about SafeStrap. So that being said, we have these prerequisites met. Um, the other thing you're going to need to have is... Uh, ES file browser here, you're going to have to have your ROM downloaded and know where it's downloaded to. So I'm going to go ahead and find where mine is at. should be in storage, external, ROMs. So right here, this is mine. It is the Verizon S5 root ODEX stock. Um, and it is, what is the build number right now? NCG, which is the firmware that comes with the device. So that's my ROM, that's what I'm going to be flashing. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and go into SafeStrap. And then this is SafeStrap 3.75, that is the latest at the time of this video. And I'm just going to go ahead and do Reboot to Recovery. And should get us into Recovery. Or I should say SafeStrap Recovery, which is based on Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. So here you go, this should boot us up right here. Now I'm going to skip through some things that you may need to know, but because I already did a safe strap video, I'm just going to focus on installing the ROM. Here we go, you can see I am on a stock ROM slot right there on top, everything is in red. You can install ROMs to stock slot, but the point of safe strap is to install it to a ROM slot, um, and that's what I'm going to do in this video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to boot options, and I've already created a slot called stock um, ROM slot 1 right here, and I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to activate it. And now it's activated, everything is in green up there, ROM slot 1. I'm going to go back, and um, since we're in ROM slots, there's really no reason to make a backup, unless you want to have a backup of whatever you had in that ROM slot before you installed a different ROM. So I'm not going to even go through a backup right now. I am going to do a wipe though. So I'm going to go wipe, swipe across, and wipe data, wipe cache, and then we're going to go back, back. We're going to go to installs, and I'm already in my external SD card, so I'm just going to click on ROMs, and I'm going to click on, there it is, root odex ncg zip, and it's listed right there. Go ahead and swipe across to flash. Now, while this is installing, let me talk about what this has. So basically, this ROM is rooted, it has BusyBox, ZipLine, InitD support, Knox free, removes tether permission checks, so you have Wi-Fi tether set up by installing this, and you can do that for free now. Um, it still uses your data, but if you have unlimited, who cares? Removes Verizon OTA updater, um, removed 200 megabytes uh, worth of tutorial videos that are from Verizon. Uh, read write to external storage, works with art uh, runtime environment if you want to set that up, and works private mode, working as private mode. Um, private mode only works on the Odex version, which is what I'm installing here, but um, if you want to use the Deodex, that's fine too. I will give you guys links to Beanstown's um, thread on this ROM. And it just should run really smooth. It's basically just a stock ROM, but with a bunch of tweaks in it, uh, which is really, really sweet. So s installing this really shouldn't take too long. Uh, it's not a huge file, but, you know, decent size. So go ahead and let it, let's let it finish installing. Okay, there we go. Finished installing. We're going to go ahead and you can hit Reboot System right there. I'm just going to go to Home, just so we can get back to this screen. And still everything looks good. And go Reboot System. You can do it either way, I'm just showing you more options. 
So again, you have your standard uh, boot logo right here. Now, safe strap is enabled because you activated a ROM slot and it is in green. Safe strap will always stay disabled if you're running stock ROM slot. If you only when you run a ROM slot, like ROM slot one through four, will it change to green. Um, so this should boot up here and there is kind of a little bit of a lag. Let's see what happens here. There you go, there's your stock boot animation, Samsung. Uh, I'm assuming this is gonna take a little bit to boot because you just wiped everything and it's gotta kinda re reset the phone a little bit. So let's give this a little time to boot up and I'll show you the ROM. All right, so here's the initial boot up. I'm just gonna skip through this really quickly. All right, here we go. Just finishing up, skipping through the uh, initial stuff here, and shabam! I know it looks very much like stock, right? Well, it is. It's a ROM based on stock ROM. It just has a bunch of tweaks. So you can slide over, and you do have the magazine UI if you want to mess with that. I'm not really too into this thing, so we'll just uh, back up here and um, we'll check out the rest of it here standard looking interface kids mode over there if you want to download it and let's see what else we have here uh, security stuff setup permission blah 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 no sim because I don't have one in here right now this device is not activated at this time and there's private mode if you want to use it touch sensitivity all your uh, toggles standard stuff on here Let's go ahead and check out your app drawer. Again, pretty much standard. There is your Super Sue. Everything looks good here. Pretty uh, standard. Like I said, this is Knox free. You shouldn't have any of your Knox stuff in here, right? Yep. Don't see Knox at all. And all those other tweaks I read off to you as we were installing it. So, there it is. Pretty simple. That is how you install a custom ROM in SafeStrap. Now, there are a couple custom ROMs out for this thing already. Um, I think everything right now, because SafeStrap, the way SafeStrap works, you has to be TouchWiz based, but it can have insane mods. I've seen things that are really, really cool. Beanstown makes us some cool ROMs. Um, Hyperdrive, a lot of times those are really sweet, and they have all kinds of modifications in them that uh, work with uh, Samsung-based software, firmware, stock TouchWiz. Um, I'll probably be doing some videos on those very soon. But that's going to be it for me, guys. That is how to install a custom ROM in SafeStrap on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Hope you guys like it. We will catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.